Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Allison. So for today's video, I'll be showing you guys my Sephora VIP sale haul. And if you guys have been following me on my channel for a while, you guys know I do this every time when there's a sale in Sephora. So this time around, I'm gonna show you guys what the I purchased, some stuff that I wanna try out, and I'm gonna share everything with you guys today. All right, so compared to the last few years, I did not purchase like holding everything from Sephora so so this time around I just want to purchase some stuff that I really needed or something that I've been really wanted to try out so I'm gonna dive in for the stuff that I repurchased and then the stuff that I want to try out for the new product so first I want to go in with two items that I repurchased in this haul and nothing new I always repurchase this in my Sephora haul and I've been loving it this is a pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm and if you guys have been watching my video you guys know I've been loving this cleansing balm and I did realize using a balm it's way long lasting than using like cleansing oil so I talked this many times before in my video I have been loving the Tatcha cleansing oil that's like the best cleansing oil that I've tried but it run out faster than my normal cleansing balm just because it's more of a liquid formula so on the inside it comes with a spatula and it's really comes in handy because when you're uh, having like dirty fingers then this is something that it helps to pick up your product so this is what the cleansing balm looks like on the inside it's literally it's a solid form you just have to scrape up the product with the spatula and a little goes a long way so I would say like a dime size or even smaller than a dime size it will remove my whole face makeup look but if I have like an eye makeup on I will use a cleansing oil before I go in and use this balm just because it's it's a lot faster with the cleansing oil using a cotton ball or a cotton pad to melt it down with your makeup so this is something that I have been using quite a long time now since I discovered this cleansing balm the next item that you guys see me talk about this in all my foundation reviews so this is the Becca under eye brightener this is a collab with Becca with Smashbox because unfortunately Becca is not um, doing their business and they collab it with Smashbox instead so this is the under eye brightener in the shade fair so this is what it looks like with the packaging you guys will see the salmon color on the inside this is a color that it fits my skin tone now that I have filled the new product the cap it's quite lightweight than what I used to have you guys know I've been using my old version for a while now it does last me for a very long time for about six months to a year so I can definitely feel the difference on the packaging this is a lot more thicker finish but what is important is the product inside hopefully they didn't change the formula this is what i've been using you guys can see i make a huge dent this is something that i swear by it you guys have to go try it if you guys need some under eye brightener to cancel your dark circle it really helps a lot to cover your dark circle before applying your concealer so this is something that i needed in my makeup collection just for my backup so now let's move on to the makeup item that i want to try out and in this haul actually there's only two makeup item that i want to try out so this is the makeup forever hd skin undetectable stay true foundation so this is what the bottles looks like and i like the foundation bottle the cap is made from all like recycling materials so this is something that i am really excited in this haul and then moving on, this is something that I've been really wanting to try out and my friends talk about it. And also, I do see some good reviews and mixed reviews. So I want to try it out myself to see how I like it. So this is the Benefit 24 Hours Brow Setter. So I know this is not a new item. And if you guys have tried it out, and let me know in the comments down below if you guys end up loving this item. Because there's a lot of like items coming out with like e.l.f. or brow freeze kind of finish and from Anastasia and I feel like a lot of brands is doing the same thing but when you go travel it really requires to bring like a spatula like something like this like a mascara wand and something that I feel like you need to clean it up it's just something that it needs more applicator to apply your makeup and I feel like this might be something that is good to travel with you use it as a mascara but use it on your brow instead and this is something that I have been wanting to try and it does look like it will hold up your brow but I mean 
there might be a certain way that you need your brows to stay up so on this side of my brow i'm only using this product just by the wand and on this side of the product after using a wand i use a brush or the end part of whatever it is to kind of hold it up for about five seconds i would say and this is how you get the brow holding up on top i don't know if you guys can see closely my natural brow it's holding up quite nicely and it doesn't have residues i feel like with the anastasia one it sometimes had those white residues or i just didn't find a better way to apply it so i'm still trying it out but with this item i feel like it's easier to work with if i'm traveling or if i'm in a rush all right now let's move on to the skincare item so the first item that I want to try out, and I saw a lot of good review about this item, this is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask, and this mask is formally for blemish prone skin. As you guys can see, I have been dealing with hormone because I've been really dealing with stress for the past two weeks, and it's normal that the hormones, it comes out on my face, and I need something to treat it. So I did read a lot of reviews on Sephora and a lot of them are actually has a good positive review on this item and I did use it for once after I received this product so this is what the mask looks like it's kind of looks like a charcoal mask I would say but it dries down very fast it dries down within 10 minutes it probably said you have to clean it or use like warm luke water to wash it off your face after 10 minutes so i did see a difference so if i have a before and after pictures i'm going to show you guys here but this basically soothes my face at the same time that it feels like it would control my oils a little because sometimes when my oil is uncontrollable it's like on my t-zone area i get very oily and it, with this mask i feel like it also clear up my face it's not necessarily clear up my acne but it's a way that it kind of brighten up my face in a different way and for only 10 minutes this is really amazing and I do recommend you guys if you guys have any prone skin try it out for yourself I can't really give you guys like a solid feedback because I only use it for once but this is the instant result I see I see my face it got more brighten up but always try this product on your neck or on the back of your hand to see if you guys have allergic reaction because this also contains as I said acid with 2% and I'm already someone that who used to harsh chemical just because of my any prone skin all right moving on to another product that I am actually restocking because I try out the small travel size from Sephora points and this is something that I use during my snowboarding trip and I do love how it feels on my skin because I do get dry during my snowboarding in a different season or area atmosphere and my skin get a little bit dry so with this item it doesn't necessarily give you the hydration right away but if my face feel a little dry it would tight my face instantly and it will enhance the rest of your skincare that you put on top so it will enhance the moisturizer power that you layer on top or the power of serum hydration that you layer after this product so this is a product it's from korea so this is what the consistency looks like it is a yellow serum finish but it is made with ginseng so it feels really good it smells really good and it just kind of apply it as a serum but at the same time it will enhance everything that you put on top and i do see a difference because i'm not as dry as i'm used to and i love the texture because it dries down instantly it doesn't leave you any like residue or it doesn't leave you that like really slimy texture with some of the b5 gel so i have been really loving this serum it feels sink into my skin and it does give me a little bit of a hydration that's why i purchased this in a full size you guys can see the packaging so now reading the description it says it's the first care activating serum it's a anti-aging booster serum and also give you that youth potential your skin for healthy and natural glow so after using this product they said 98 percent of people feel moisturized and hydrated the skin feels softer felt nourished 
healthy glow and then boost the skincare product to use in the next step all right so this is like my last minute purchase i add to my cart and this is a kios clearly corrective dark spot solution so i did heard a lot of good things about this product but if you guys i know this is like a long time product that people have been raving about it but i haven't tried it myself so let me know in the comments down below if you guys try this out and if it works on your dark spot because recently i have been having this hormone situation and i do have a lot of redness and dark spot so i purchased this to see if it helps to eliminate the dark spot so i want to see if this product is truly helping me i'm going to use it for about two weeks straight i've been using it for about three to four days now i haven't seen a huge difference but i might have to record it on the first day second day and third day to see the difference so i'll be doing that and give you guys my review and i did see people using this for like a, using a small cotton pad or whatever that they use from kios a pad to soak in the product and then put it on top of maybe your dark spot area give it like a mask for about 10 minutes and then you will see a huge difference so i haven't tried it out yet so if you guys have any feedback on this color correcting let me know in the comments down below i'm really dying to know is it work and is it worth the price because this thing is really expensive as a serum okay last but not least this is a sunscreen from supergroup so this is a resetting refreshing mist it has the spf of 40 so if you guys have been dealing with going out in the summertime and putting or reapplying your sunscreen so this is something that i want to try out for myself because i have been dealing with having my full face makeup on and how am i gonna reapply my sunscreen but i read a lot of review about this product it was okay some people say it gets very oily and some people say it doesn't do the work so i want to try out myself i got the smallest size to see if it worth because um this will be something that i will be carrying around with me in my purse something that's small enough and i will see if i reapply it would it really give me that oily texture and hopefully this thing will work because reapplying your sunscreen is really important in a way so if you guys let's try this out let me know in the comments down below too i initially was thinking should i get this but when i go into bloomingdale's i've tried it out the scent it really got me so this is a product it, i would say it's more like i paying the price for the scent so this is the orbe power drops damage repair booster for two percent linoleic acid if i'm saying that right so this is a hair care product that you use it on your split ends on your on your ends of the hair so this would be something that you use as kind of like a hair oil but it's a serum in a way or you can mix it with your hair oil but this thing if i use it alone by itself i feel like it doesn't really does the job and a lot of people say it might be just the product you're paying for the scent and I do agree with it because you can't really tell there is a huge difference on the hair but it definitely lingers the scent with the Orbe signature scent oh my god there's a spider so it did recommend mixing three to five drops with any Orbe product in the palm of your hand to give your regular routine a boost to use alone or apply on damp hair so i did try it again use it alone on a damp hair and it doesn't really Give me the hydration or something that is similar to my hair oil so i might just have to mix it with my hair oil to give a boost of what my hair oil does but at the same time i feel like i'm paying this for the scent and the packaging it's really cute and really like luxurious but i really don't like the drop serum because it doesn't pick up a lot of product it pick up quite little product up here you guys can see it seems like a lot on the tube right but there's only a few products like one drop of product so not really a fan of the application on this but i mean it looks luxurious and i feel like this is something that you are paying for the scent of it and it smells really good i have to agree but again do you really need this product i don't think you need it unless you want the scent it lingers onto your hair so this is all the product that i have purchased in my sephora vip sale haul and really 
thank you for my friends who helping me out to purchase this item because I'm no longer a VIB Rouge member. I thought I am, but this is the first time of the year that I figured out I'm only a normal VIB member. So I'm only getting 15% off, but I have my friend help me out to get the 20% off. But this is all the item that I purchased. And if you guys have tried out the product that I purchased here, let me know in the comments down below how you liking this product or how do you feel about this product let me know everything in the comments down below and i hope you guys enjoy watching this video and i'll see you guys on the next one Bye guys. i don't mind you making me wait